Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm making some sort of Asian dish and you're gonna be joining me. So let's go. TikTok and I've made it before. I don't remember the name of it. If I do, I'll put it on the screen. But I don't remember the name right now. But I'm gonna be cooking. So I'm going to put the chicken I didn't want to inside this Ziploc bag here to put it back in the freezer. I it would make more sense to season it and then put it back in the freezer. Sir, so, so, so that I would have it for for a different time, but that takes time and effort. And now let's clean all of this. No. So we put this in the freezer. So I then can use this container and season the chicken in after I've, you know, cut it up. Okay, so I've sliced it up into tiny thin pieces. It's quicker to cook that way and, you know, so I like this, I guess. I usually could do it thinner if it was like chicken breast, boneless chicken breast. I'm gonna rinse the fruit. Don't want salmonella hair, so you gotta wash this. Okay, I'm back. What's your guys' favorite like Christmas song? Cause right now it's mine is Baby It's Cold Outside by Michael Bublé and Edina something. So I'm gonna get my se I'm getting my seasoning by the way. So right now I have oyster sauce, onion powder, I have flour already here, sesame oil. And now let me wash this vinegar. Vinegar. Oh, got my hand little vinegar now. I usually wear gloves for this. I don't know why I'm not wearing one right now. Some oyster sauce. Barely any soy sauce, so you get a drop out of this. Um, onion powder. Once again, measure with your heart. Your heart, not mine. Sesame oil, you don't eat a lot. It's very overpowering. Um, oil. It smells so good. And then a little bit of flour. There we go. Yeah. And then I'm going to just mix these up. trash we're gonna put this aside then we're gonna start on whatever I'm going to be using with this I don't know this is finished right <sighs> where's the rice Then I need to go wash this. So this is the rice. I'm gonna go put some water on this. I do also season my rice. Pimento. I'm gonna use garlic powder, salt, pepper. I haven't made rice in a minute. I don't. My brother makes rice, and he makes really great rice. I don't make rice. I, they don't make me cook rice anymore because it's very, you know, as I said, bland. Ooh, butter. I know butter goes in rice. See? I'm not completely useless. I'm not going to start cooking the meat until the rice is sort of like halfway done because then that would just mean I have meat and no rice. And then I want to eat the meat. When I come back, you will see the rice almost half finished and me cooking the chicken. So, yeah. Now I have my wok. I cook everything in a wok because it's essentially the only really good non-stick pan that I like to use. Plus I'm, you know, making sure this doesn't. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to see what that does. I don't know what that does. If you let me know what it does before even seeing it, like the rest of it, let me know in the comments. Because I genuinely do not know what it does. I do know that the rice tastes good when it's done. So. Um, the color is kind of scaring me a bit because there is no color. I apparently do have these. I could have put it in the rice. I didn't know until now. So, but let me cut them for the chicken. I'm gonna put it on low so this doesn't like 
Um, let me go cut this up really quick and then we can come back to that okay so we have or you know chopped veggies I'm going to take out some of the escalion I'm gonna put I'm gonna put in this top I just dump out Start. So I'm saying I'm breaking up those onions pieces. So you get that all done. Okay. Um, for those who might ask, why am I eating breakfast rice? Um, I, I'm in Barbados. I haven't had time or the money to buy more bread food rice, so I'm using regular rice right now. But anyway, so this is it. I just put the rice in there. It's better. It's best to eat when it's like just made because it holds together better. I've tested that, like, um, trying to do it a day after, like after it's refrigerated and whatever, but. Out of the tray of the pot, like this, inside whatever size you want, and you just kind of stuff it in there. Make sure it's all leveled and you turn it over and you have this. Okay, so moment of truth, and uh, I could very well just like lie to you and say, This is great, you should try this. I don't know how it tastes, but I'm saying, I, I, I just take my word, I'm not lying to. It's so hot, you can see the steam coming from <laughs> like, Look at that, I'm just over my shirt. You see that? Yeah, it's hot. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is it. It's not completely bland. I think the butter saved it because it's a garlic butter that I used, so that definitely saved it. But it's not like bland, it's moist, it's good. Good rice. Anyway, guys, let me know if you try this. If you do, show me a picture, like tag me in a picture or send it to me by our DMs on Instagram. I will see it. If you like it, that video like comment share subscribe so if you have any tips on cooking rice please let me know in the comments <laughs> i do i would like to elevate my rice cooking style subscribe if you want to see more videos from me whether cooking um clothes because that's what we focus on mainly we, we do focus mainly on modest fashion but once in a while i me delve into other parts of my life like this and uh, just join the family as always guys be fun i'll see you in the next video bye Thank you.